Hey guys, welcome to another Ask Plan Academy video. We just keep making videos for you and answering all of your questions. So here's a question I recently had. Hey Michael, I just created a project and as soon as I hit schedule, I got a loop error. How do I fix this? What's a circular loop? What am I gonna do? Okay, so great question. Let's talk about circular loops and schedules and how we can fix them. So what is a circular loop or what is a loop that Primavera tells you about when you hit schedule? Well, a loop is where you have inadvertently created a relationship situation where you're moving in the forward direction with relationships, but then you've actually looped back to a previous activity that's already been linked. That's a problem. So basically when we create networks of activities, we always want to be moving in the forward direction and we never want to circle back so that an activity links back to a previous one. We always want to be going to the next activity, the next activity, the next activity. And a circular loop happens just inadvertently. You accidentally linked to a previous activity. So what I'm going to show you now is in Primavera P6, what does that error look like and what are the tools that I need to be able to fix those relationship loops? Okay, let's dig in. Okay, let's have a look at the schedule that I've got here. It's a simple office building schedule. Let's do a quick scroll through so you can kind of see. It's about 30 lines, two floors, and a roof section. Now, I have put some circular relationships in this project. So let's see what happens when I try to schedule it. So I'll click the schedule button and schedule and boom. I get a pop-up. It says circular relationships. Scheduling leveling cannot proceed because of these circular relationships. And then it tells me some of the information, some of the activities that are involved. You can see that I actually have two loops in this project. So two that I got to fix. And let's just look at the first loop here. It starts with A1020, clearing and grubbing, and then I go down to 1030, 1040, 1050, 1080, and look at the last activity in the loop, it's 1020. So I have linked forward direction for a bunch of activities, then I have linked back to A1020. So that's the problem. And similarly with loop two, you can see that there's A1160 is listed twice again, so I've done the same sort of thing. Now, looking at this pop-up, seems like the solution is really easy, but sometimes these lists can be really long. And actually, this pop-up doesn't allow me to do any editing, so it's not very handy. So I'm gonna show you some of the other tools that I use to solve these loops. Because as soon as I click OK, the list of activities is gone. So let's do that, though. Let's click OK. And now let's hit Schedule one more time. And this time we're gonna hit View Log. Now, if you don't have these options checked on all the time, I highly recommend you always run a schedule log. Okay, so log to file, you want that on, and send it to this text file. Okay, so let's click view log, and it opens up a notepad, and then if I scroll down to the error section, I can now see the same list of activities, the two loops that are involved in my schedule. Okay, so this is important. We want to have that list of activities in the schedule log, not in the pop-up, so that I can reference them in my schedule. All right, so let's go back into P6 and see if we can solve the loop with A1020. I'm going to show you some other tips that I do. Okay, so we can cancel the scheduling. And here's what I like to do. I like to bring up the Relationships tab and go to that first activity, Clear and Grub. And then I like to follow the relationships through the sequence. So clear and grub goes to excavation and site work. So let's go to excavation. We'll pick the earlier activity. So we use the go to button. Excavation goes to foundation. This goes to fill and compact. Keep clicking go to. We've got A1060 and A1080. I happen to remember that A1080 was involved in my loop. First floor columns, so let's go there. And then there's my clear and grub again. Okay, so that's a way that we can walk through the set of relationships that lead me to the circular relationship. So the way to fix this is to either it's a mistake in that I've 
added an incorrect relationship and I need to add a correct one, or it's an extra relationship that I do not need. And in this case, it's an extra relationship I do not need, so I will remove it. So we'll remove it. If it is an incorrect relationship, you just typed in the wrong activity when you were picking successors, then make sure you relink, put in the proper relationship. Okay, so yes, we want to use the relationships tab and the successors go to button so that we can walk that loop. Okay, great. Let's go find the next loop. The next loop starts with A1160. So let's go to my activity list. And I'm going to show you another trick that sometimes is helpful to give you a more of a visual approach. What I like to do is turn the group and sort off. So if I come up here and take my group and sort and set it to none, click OK. And then if I sort this list by start date, now I can see the sequence of activities really clearly in the Gantt chart. And that can be another visual helper to make sure that I'm linking properly. So let's now go to A1160. Um, if you can't find it, you can simply do a control F for find and do A1160. Oh, there it is, second floor columns. Okay, so it takes me right there. Again, with large projects, that's a helpful tip. Okay, let's use the go to button to walk through our relationships. So we're going to, starting at second floor columns, we're going to roof trusses. And then where are we going from here? Is it 1210 or 1230? Well, I can just flip over and check. It's 1230. So let's go to A1230. And there we can see our circular loop back to second floor columns. Okay, so let's remove that to fix the circular relationship. Okay, those are the steps we needed to do. Again, if I need to add or replace that relationship with a proper one, take this time to do that. So let's see if our schedule schedules now. Click schedule, click schedule one more time. And it looks like we've successfully scheduled the project. So there you have it. Those are my tips and tricks for solving circular relationships in your schedule. I hope this is helpful and make sure you stay tuned here at Plant Academy for more Ask Plant Academy videos. Michael out.